Sean Bial Rosano is a very, very interesting human being. Throw a pic of Sean up here. Now, Sean and I became friends because he moved to Baltimore from California. And, you know, he joined the band that I was in, which is a working cover band. And Sean, you know, joins the band. And we come to find out that Sean... Um, has another gig. And he's had another gig, you know, for a while, you know. Um, and he said he plays in church. And, of course, all of us who are in the band are like, oh, like Striper? Or like, like, Christian uh, acoustic guitar laying in the back church? He goes, no, 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 man, no. It's, it's uh, you know, gospel. Again, look at Sean. Look at him. Do you see? Do you see the red beard? Do you see the beard? Do you see the? Do you see the white skin? Do you? See? Sean's last name has a hyphen in it. It's two names. It's Bial Rosano. Bial Rosano. I mean, and he's playing bass. Bass. In church in gospel churches multiple services every weekend you know real ones where they shout indefinitely in the baltimore dc metro area again i want you to look at sean how good do you think sean has to be the answer is exceptional <laughs> exceptional these bands are preposterously good um, I, every time he would play me stuff, I would just say, you know what? I, I don't think I have that in me. I, I don't, I mean this sincerely because I think I'm a good, I'm a good player and I'm a good teacher. But look, I, I don't think I can do that. And he's been trying to convince me for years that the country chicken picking stuff would actually work over some of these tunes and that the players would like this style chops and i'm like dude you're out you're out of your mind you're out of your mind so he sends me this he sends me this this is fly guy bird one more chance full video and he sends it to me with a little caveat saying you know it's been a long time since i've seen anything that's blown me away yes sean i understand if you're if you're not from the area you maybe maybe not know that you know Baltimore is a city that exists despite itself, and the people in Baltimore take great pride in um, throwing shade and challenging the ones that they care most about. We are not the types of musicians that show up to gigs and say, "Oh man, hey, how's it going? Great to see you again. Aren't you so glad to be?" out here gigging with the people. No, you show up and they say, dude, you gonna forget that bridge again? We almost lost the gig because of your stupid ass. At least you're here on time. Make sure you're in tune. You bring your batteries, love you. That's Baltimore. So I know that he sent me a stone cold head cutter. I just know it because he wants to hurt me. Sean, I love you. Here we go. This is. Fly Guy Bird, one more chance, full video, full screen. This is brave. <laughs> So staccato, oh my god, and like what are these changes? All right, I'm gonna let it go for a little bit and then we're gonna come back.
Hits. <laughs> what this video is. Facebook, I mean. See what I mean? You see what I mean? Now, I will say, I will say that while I don't know, <laughs> it's hard to tell what the changes are and it's moving very quickly, I can see why you would say chicken picking would kind of work in here. Let's see if we can get some of the first soul. Let's see if we can get something. Something. <laughs> It's so staccato, it's so sharp. So we're B flat. It's so it's it's to jump to a major third, it seems like, but it's I mean, it's B, it's B flat major. I don't have the chops for it though, but that's what it is. <laughs> Neighborhood of that. So what's that? <laughs> yeah, those those are ridiculous. So it's it's like. It's like it, you're keeping it down. You're just you're just moving it around. So it makes me think it's like a shape like this, and it's like so like moving pieces of would be that would be uh, at least outlining the thirds of that chord. 
It's just coming over and getting this. What an incredible right hand. Um, I mean, it would take me. It would take me. It would take me two months of metronome work to get up to this. Is what it would take. <laughs> why, why am I not getting sound? What? What's going on here? See that that is so weird to me. That that just that uh, that that just keeping one chord shape down and moving it like that. That 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 is a style I've just never I've never ever done. Now I do that with licks, you know. You just take a it essentially the same thing because you're moving a harmonic structure, not changing it based on the key. So you're just you know you can you can have a shape and move it, or you can have a lick and move it as long as you resolve somewhere. Just I've never it's so fast you can do anything is is really what it comes down to. What are those changes? I mean, I know that I know it diminished from when I hear it. So, you know. I mean, Sean, it's just, it's, it's, you win. You knew you would. You knew you would. Um, but I do see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying about um, that staccato chicken picking stuff working in there. See, he's, he's doing all, essentially flat picking all through that, super sharp and super right on it, um, where, where, uh, you know, more country style, it's, it's just, it's not as sharp like that. And Albert Lee is, um, but most of us hybrid picker have more snap and pop in there. So I can see why rhythmically it would work. Um, but the changes are wild, man. The changes are wild. Every time you show me stuff, I'm always like, I, I, I don't know if I can play over those changes. Like, just because it, it's just, it's just... Um, like nothing I'm ever used to. Um, like, how long did it take you, honestly, dude? How long did it take you to feel comfortable improvising over these changes in such, in such a, an unforgiving genre? Um, I don't know. I would think I would think I would need two months, two months of solid metronome work, and. Uh, at least an hour or two a day improvising over these changes because you got to get all the hits. That's the thing with this genre is you got to get all the hits. If you don't get the hits, you don't have anything. Um, and it's like and it's like these people that grew up doing this, they're so freaking good at it. Um, and it's so natural to them. Um, I say all this to say, I miss you, man. I miss playing with you. I, uh, I, um, I, uh, always been impressed that you can do this. Um, it's, it's, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. I know I was joking before, but, um, it really is a huge deal, uh, that, that you feel comfortable in this musical world because it's freaking wild, dude. It's absolutely wild and unlike anything I'm used to. Check out the links in the description. You got Sean's Instagram. I'll link up this dude, Fly Guy, who's just, just killer. I mean, unbelievably good. Look at, look at the comments. Bro, it's not even fair. Incredible. Incredible, incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Yeah, dude, you're great. You're great. Thank you so much, and um, I will see you guys shortly. Cheers.